Hi, sixth grade. Um, today we are doing the second part of our lesson in 3.1 in our life science. And our main topic today is why do living things need food? Okay, so our agenda today, if I can make it go. There we go. All right, so uh, today is Monday, the 27th of April. Our agenda today, you should have done your bell work, then this video lesson, and then you have an assignment on Google Classroom in a, as a quiz, uh, quiz format. It's not a quiz. Um, and you also are going to be personalizing your uh, Science Interactive Notebook cover. Um, assignments must be turned into account for attendance. Please turn in any assignments. If you are still contacting me or having a hard time letting me know that you did an assignment, even have a parent um, email me if, uh, if I'm missing it, there's so many things coming into Google Classroom that sometimes it gets missed. Make sure you're always putting it in that top, um, let's bring that up, in that top uh, section right here where it says late reading work notification. Okay, this is where I go to look. So please make sure you're doing it on that. All right, um, let's see. Daily work today is the bell work and the assignment and the cover page. And our objective, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand that things, uh, the things living organisms do need to require their energy and understand that food provides that energy and building materials to the organisms, including us. Okay, so Friday I had you take a questionnaire and some of the questions were kind of funky, and uh, but it actually does tie back to what we're doing. So our first question, what do organisms use food for besides energy? Okay, and I'm gonna postpone this until the end of this, this slide. So have you gotten taller in the past year or are you the same size as you were when you were first born? So some of you might not have grown too much taller than um, you were this over this whole year. Some of you may, might have. It just depends on you and your body. There's nothing wrong with the other one. Um, but are you the same size as you were when you were first born? The answer is a definite no, okay? So as you grew, you got more skin, more bone, more body mass. Where did all of this extra stuff come from? It didn't just stretch out of the size you were when you were a baby. And the answer is it comes from the food that we eat, okay? Organisms use food for building materials for their bodies as well as energy to make their bodies run. Okay, what happens to the food when you eat it? The food goes into our body, is uh, into the digestive system, which we are going to learn more about in seventh grade. Um, it's processed there, and our bodies take the nutrients and the, the things that they need from the food that we eat. Uh, does anything stay in your body from the food you eat? Yes, it does. Okay, all those building block materials that I was telling you about and the nutrients stay. What part, uh, what happens to the parts of food that stay in your body? Our bodies use them to make more of us, to keep us going, to give us energy. Um, what happens to food that cannot be used or stored in the body? We all have parts of our food that do not get processed. Um, and our uh, body gets rid of them. It eliminates them as waste. And I do wanna give everybody a Yahoo. I did not have one person in the entire sixth grade use inappropriate words to describe what happens to the food that cannot be used or stored in the body. So I was very impressed with everybody. Nice job. Okay. All right. So let's look at our question. What is in food? All right. So what do you think is in food? What is it made up of? Uh, we know it's made up of um, molecules. We've, we've learned that in chemistry. Everything's made up of molecules. But how can we tell what is in our food? Well, everything that is sold is in a packaged form in the United States has what's called a nutritional information. And even food in restaurants, um, you can look up the uh, information on, on the internet or you can ask for it to be given to you there. Um, and it looks like, so I'm going to pull over my Dr. Pepper bottle, looks like this, okay? It's a standardized form, and we all have, you've seen it. You might not have looked at it too closely, but it tells us a lot of things about what's going on inside our food, okay? So some of the things you might have seen, sugars, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, sodium, um, calories, 
all of these words that some of us know and some of us don't. Okay, so here I have.